Hello everyone. I'm a bit hoarse, so I'm just gonna ask you guys to bear with me. As for who doesn't know that every name of the wife of Dolly, Brody Crawford is all the son. As I read this letter while representing my husband in his absence, due to reasons beyond his control, I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming out to celebrate the life of Ruddy Tower Crawford the Dad. Let me understand the Dad. Let me understand the Dad. Let me understand the Dad. My appreciation for my father's greatness cannot be measured. So, Dad, today I want you to know that no matter what I am, your spirit will be beside me. For I know that no matter what, you will always be with me. Thank you for all the wonderful memories. I can still hear you calling my name, Dela Oi, as you walk down the flight of stairs. Hearing your footsteps that was my confirmation. My apologies. Hearing your footsteps on the top of the roofs in the early mornings as you get ready for work will be my confirmation that you are okay. You fought a good fight. You fought a good fight. You worked until your last breath, which makes you a hero in my eyes. You've never complained to no one about your pain. You've sh never shown signs of pain. You rock your pain like a warrior. And for that, I know you lived a good life.
morning, everybody. Morning. Morning, everybody. Morning. Sure, you heard the moderator. She spoke, you know. Yes. Said she don't want to tell you that if you don't run. So, morning, everybody. Morning. My name is Lincoln Holloway. I was Roddy's supervisor at the Southern Parks and Markets. On behalf of my regional operating manager, Mr. Edward Muir, the senior management staff, colleagues, I would like to express my deepest and sincerest condolences to the family of our dear departed brother, Roddy Delroy Crawford. When I just came to this zone, I took over from another supervisor that was here, and you know we change when a new person come in, there is always some level of skepticism. Where am I come with now? What kind of style am I bring, you know? And it was Roddy who was one of the of the workers here in Christiana to reach out to me and say, Maxi, don't worry yourself, you will show you the ropes. And that he did. And I will always be grateful for that. He made my entry here very smooth. It is said that the measure of a man can be determined by the nurture he gives to his family, the dedication to his work, and the loyalty to his friends. I don't think I'm wrong, but I think all of those totally epitomizes Roddy Crawford. A gentle soul, but a giant and a superstar in his own right. I think you can all attest to that. He was loved by his community. Amen. It was Miss Tony Crawford here who was one of the first persons who introduced him to SPM almost over 10 years ago. You know, it is always at a funeral that the tributes come and the accolades and the, the, um, the, the, the respect. But I am happy to say that just before his passing, he was honored by the company for his long service and for the dedication to the work that he did. I can say this without any fear or reservation that since his passing, that area of Christiana which he was in charge of, not stay the same way, not true. And I can tell you this without fear or reservation again, that it is going to be difficult to feel them the shoes. So he was a great man in my eyes. I hope he was too in yours. I would always ensure that at Easter time we would get him butter and cheese, you know? And at Christmas in little package. Because of the respect that I have for him and the other workers. I was speaking about him today. I don't want to be long. I can't be long. But I just like to say this to the family. Cry if you must. We had a ball. Mourn. But just remember that weeping may endure for a night. But joy, joy, joy comes in the morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, everybody supposed to know who I am. Mm. I'm the short one. See him different, never change. On the 25th of June, I came here. I saw my brother, and we have a long chat, not talk, chat. I said to him, Roddy, you know that I love you. You are dear to me. But one thing I beg of you, please just keep on going. He laughed. He said, brother, the doctor said me sick, but me not sick. I said, Roddy, the truth of the matter is, I too don't like that. I'm honest, and every time the company that I work with send me to doctor, we find ex excuses. 
because we no love doctor. Every time I step into a doctor's surgery, my blood pressure gone through the sky. So therefore, I don't like it. But unfortunately today, I'm not here to grieve. I'm honest with you. I'm not here to grieve. Why? Because I have spoken to him and I expressed my love for him. A few years ago, my brother, Reverend Crawford, called me and he said, Jeffrey, we have to break the cycle. Only go to Jamaica when somebody died. And when he said that to me, honestly, I called him immediately and said, get me a ticket. I'm going to Jamaica for the weekend. And then I came the weekend. We, last week, Sunday, when I was about to go to church, and I was cleaning my car in the driveway, I got a phone call. And all my niece said to me, Roddy dead. Believe you me, I could not move. But I just calm myself, run inside, get me some water and drink and say, God, you gave, you take. But I'm saying to all of us today, we are here because of him. But I always ask the one question, are we ready to make that move? So my truth to every one of us today, that when she comes, she's not going to ask who is ready. She's going to take. So Solomon said, I've never find nothing bitter than death the woman because she no play. But today I can say to all of us, everywhere I go upon this planet earth, I carry the same message. Let us ready because it's appointed unto us. And after death, we're going to rise again. Ready? Go. Meet mama. Meet dada. Meet Sami. But Jeffrey, now come yet. God bless. <laughs> of a few days and full of trouble. Yeah. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleets also as a shadow and continueth not. Yeah. The life of Ruddy Delroy Crawford, also known as AKA Don, AKA Cassie, was born in Joblin, Christiana, Manchester on the 21st of December, 1958 to the late Rudolph and Lynette Crawford. He was the sixth child of 10. Ruddy attended the Christiana Moravian Primary School after which he transitioned to the Christiana Secondary School to further his education. After leaving school, he got a job at a pastry shop. Amen. Where he learned to bake the best finger licking patties you could have ever tasted.
However, he wanted more in life as he was an extremely ambitious young man with great vigor and passion. So what did my uncle do? He found himself a job at the renowned supermarket A and P, where he worked for many rewarding years. As a young man, he witnessed the loving marriage between his mom and dad. Roy decided that it was his time. It was time for him to do the same. Lucky for him, he found the astounding, loving, and beautiful young lady, Glennis Simpson. Together, the nurturing union produced three handsome, and when I say handsome, very handsome young men. Uncle Ruddy was a jovial person, especially when he was moved by music. No matter where he was, I know you can picture him right now, moving his waistline wickedly. Yes, he was a dancer, but he was also a great drummer. And I know Mike, Sonny Boy, ba Baba, Buddy, no, Bobby and Bud can attest to that. We know future nine nights and elections will miss him immensely. The go-getter he was, pushing to become an entrepreneur, where he opened and operated a bar on the streets of Azalein for a period of time. In addition, he traveled on the farm working program to Canada. In his spare time, he enjoys cooking and, of course, socializing and spending quality time with his brother-in-law, Mikey Jones. He was an avid, avid lover of the Jamaica Labour Party. Show up! <laughs> when he stopped going to the farm working program, he got a job at SPM, Waste Management Limited. There came a time where his health began to deteriorate. However, he continued to work relentlessly. I guess mom and dad are raised him to persevere no matter what. Sadly, on the 7th of August, 2022, Uncle Ruddy bid farewell to this world, his family, and friends. Leaving to mourn is his beautiful wife, Aunt Glenis, three handsome sons, Delroy, Ricky, Kedron, aka Wayne, one amazing daughter, Tashana, hope I said it right, bonus daughter, Ebony, three brothers, Fidel, Jeffrey, and Minister Rupert Crawford, who gave us an amazing word just now, five sisters, one well, Mr. Sandra, jo John, Josset, <laughs> Sonia, Sandra, and Michelle. Nine grandchildren, didn't even know that. Nieces, nephews, and other relatives, and amazing friends. My last word to you, Uncle, Uncle Ruddy, is what good done? What good Cassie? What good Uncle Ruddy? We love you, but Jesus loves you best. May your soul rest in peace. Um, on behalf of the Reverend Copeland Lodge, I want to keep, keep on. I'm here to tell you that the Reverend Copeland Lodge uh, sends his sympathies and condolences to the family of Crawford. He knew Roddy well. He and Roddy had a good relationship. And you know, Roddy got saved under his hands. Yeah, but he said Roddy just, you know. Yeah. So, um, family, take heart. Roddy has gone before us. He's gone to meet some people who he knew. Yeah, so take heart. Roddy is in better hands. He has gone to a land where there is no more pain, no more sickness, no more crying over here, no more heartaches. Yeah, he's gone to that land. I am not here to judge Roddy. Roddy has his, you know, Roddy who at line, and listen, he's coming to church Sunday. 
So I do not know what he said to God. I do not know what he said to God here in that house. So he must have said something to God. Why well, can't tell me say what my church? Yeah, so I am not here to judge him. Him to know that. Every one of us, we have a, all of us, as the speaker said, have something to say to God on that last day. God I'm gonna meet everybody. One said, one of all said, you good, and the other one of all said. Yeah. So today we have we are going home. Brother Roddy is going home. We want to put him down before the rain falls. Yeah. He wasn't a dead man. He wasn't a you know, he loved 